Hi friends, and today I will show you all my professional gear setup. I'm Nikon shooter for 25 years and 5 years ago I started to slowly switching to Z6. It's here, Z62 here, Z72, ZF, Z8, Z9. I'm shooting li like everything, weddings, portraits, nude, for the sessions, commercial stuff, food, studio work. I'm only not shooting uh, um, war and funerals. Everything else I'm shooting and with all this stuff. I have a Leica combo setup, something like this, but smaller and uh, different film cameras. If you want to see the similar preview, just write, it, write a comment. But today will be my review about Nikon Z, about my setup, how I started, how I ended, uh, whole lenses for different purposes. And sorry for my English, it's not so perfect but I will try my best. Okay, let's start. Five years ago, Z6, I bought it and I was using D5 and D4S for my professional work uh, and I was trying to see can I switch to Z totally? What is Z and what is benefits of it? And slowly bought every Z camera which came out. Uh, the same, all 25 years I bought every full frame digital from Nikon they produced and was professionally working with that. I'm not a blogger, what I'm right now doing it's it's like lucky I have some free hours to make some video and I see guys you like it, you are writing me put a like, subscribing, and if you do it more, I will more post videos like this one. Okay, let's start. Let's continue. Then I bought Z6. Uh, there was slight upgrade in autofocus. It's working better like in 10, 12, 10, 20% better like Z6, but the sensors are similar. Then I bought Z7 and started more shooting with this in studio in commercial work because there is more megapixels. Somebody asks me what is better in autofocus because somebody wrote that it's similar but Z7 is doing better if your uh, person are in full body and the face is very small in the frame this camera will stick faster to it because it's more megapixels, more pixel on a face and processor can recognize it faster. Um, here is two slot cam, two slots for memory. Here is only one. Okay, after these three cameras, I bought Z9. It was like wow upgrade because autofocus is a next level from previous cameras, and I like it very much. Uh, I dreamed. I dreamed to buy the second one, but the huge size, weight, and my back will not say thank you for that. When I'm working uh, in in field, shooting weddings, reportage, sports, or something like that, I am using three or two cameras, it depending how is important this photo shoot. If it's only very important, I use three cameras on me and different lenses. For example, in a day photo shoot, I will put on one camera 40, 24, 24, then second will be 24, 70. I have 2.8 version 2, but right now it, it is in service. This is 4.0 and 70 till 200 2.8 it's in daylight and if i shoot uh, in some dark situations i use fixed lenses three different some wide middle and like a tele maybe one 
105, 1.4 or 51.1.2 depends on the situation. And this is reason why I have so many cameras because on a field uh, where everything is changing quickly, I use three cameras on me. Like two cameras on the uh, shoulders, one in the hand, and I switching very quickly if something happens far away or closer. I don't need to spend time to change the lenses. I can like change cameras very quickly and shoot different situations. Right now, two cameras is uh, too much for this combo. I will sell maybe Z6 and Z6 II. This will be backup for studio work, for assistant, but I need three and the best ones are Z8, Z8 and Z9. Okay, let's continue. When I switch from the three cameras uh, to Z9, it was wow upgrade, auto focus next level, everything perfect, but it was heavy. Then they produced Z8 and this is, was wow because of its size, weight, and the performance is the same. Only this is more protected if you shoot in some extreme conditions. For me, I was in Amazon raining forests, in Burning Man desert, and this camera is more protected. It's not like it will shut down immediately in these extreme situations, but after some time, it can say you goodbye, and you need to send it to service. For example, D600, after the underwater photo shoot, in underwater case, but because of moisture, uh, after three months, it broke. I sent to repair, and they said, it's better to buy a new one because it, repair will cost a lot and this is why a lot of professionals use the best one because of its ceiling and protection from water rain moisture sand dust and blah blah everything it's not it's not protected one 100 percent but it's the best protection nick nikon have but uh, for me, it's better Z8 because of its size and weight and reason why I'm shooting with three bodies on me. And ZF. I love it the most because of its weight, size, but if I need to shoot with the big lenses, like 51.2, like 7.2 till 200, it will be paint to my arm. If you are holding small camera, it will be pain after some hours because this camera, it's very comfortable to shoot with the big lenses, but the weight is it's big and my back is not saying thank you. Uh, if you shoot studio and outdoor stuff uh, in my Ideal situation will be good if you have one Z8 and two or one ZF. It will be like ideal combo for me. But unfortunately, but uh, they produce this camera. Uh, the shadow was this one, this one, and this one. If they produce this one uh, after the seven two. Uh, maybe I bought this one, this one, and don't buy this. The Nikon made this trick with the D3 and D700 the same. <sighs> to earn more money. Okay, let's go to the lenses. This is classic, 7200.2.8. This is the only lens I leave from my D D lenses. I sold all D lenses, G and D lenses i only leave this one 105 mils 1.4 nikon z don't have alternatives for that i am now collecting the money to buy 85 mils 1.2 and of course i want to buy plana 135 mils 1.8 okay let's go to this interesting 
TT Artisan 100 2.8 it's macro with a tilting tilting uh, function tilting and shifting there is a macro rings to make any lens like macro working and macro lenses more more mag mag magnification this is classical micro, micro macro 105 2.8 this is one more mac micro 52.8 i use this lens to shoot my film uh, films with micro uh, with adapter a special Nikon adapter this is a 2470 f4 I bought this like some weeks ago especially for ZF small lens small body to to use it walking around this is some interesting manual lens Per gear 35 mils 1.4 it will cost it like $99 cheap one and there is two 28 2.8 40 mils 2.0 especially for ZF small lenses for small body walking around shooting my family street photography I'm not going outside without camera every day I take some camera some film camera or ZF or something it depends on my mood here is one more TT Artisan manual 15 mils 1.4 but with tilt effect some micro city shots some portraits when one eye is in focus and another not some artistic effect okay here is one more T T Artisan 500 f6.3 in my work and traveling I need uh, sometimes I need uh, something like big tele but I'm not millionaire to buy Nikon all this heavy and not cheap lenses and this is alternative it costed like 300 I'm happy that I have it uh, but it's manual and maybe not so perfect uh, in sharpness in performance but still I have something if I need it very quickly and can find in rent <sighs> okay 4024 2.8 like best wide angle this is my favorite 51.2 for portraits for catching moments this is interesting 50 mils 0 0.95 uh, some some Zhongyu Speedmaster lens but it's totally dark and I need to get shots I use it it's not so sharp but you at least get something here is classic classic 35 1.8 51.8 59 or 85 1.8 uh, often used in studio and commercial stuff because it's very sharp perfect lenses here is some special lenses what Nikon can't give it 35 mil mils 0.95 are is Laowa uh, I use this if it's totally dark for example I go to Kilimanjaro and it was like no light at night and I need some some shots in the night with people walking to the mountain here is uh, 50 15 2.0 Laowa very interesting I have 2.8 30 to 24 but if I need something li uh, more uh, like producing light I choose this one and this is super wide lens 9 millimeters 5.6 if I need make toilet to in interior photo shoots toilet like a big hole I can use this lens and this 28 
2.8 and 42.0, especially for Nikon ZF. Mm, small fixed lenses. Here is some interesting. It's a Megadap, Megadap uh, adapter MTZ11. I think they have newer version. Uh, I can use my Leica lenses on Nikon Z mount with auto focus. I have a lot of Leica lenses. If you are interested, I can post a video like similar review. Just comment about it. Okay, this is my gear as a professional photographer, traveling, shooting in studio, different situations. And I use Nikon, I love it. And I hope they will produce more cameras, better, uh, better lenses. And if you have some questions, just post in comments, like and subscribe. Thank you.